Welcome back to Elden Ring. I was going to start the episode by exploring a new map tile that we haven't discovered yet, but there's one other thing that I discovered in the other playthrough that I'm doing off camera. A thing that I missed in this playthrough. Right at the very beginning, just outside the Church of Ella, there's the Groveside Cave. I thought that was the only cave in this area, but no, there's actually another cave right about here. So this statue, if you use it, guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. It actually points in the direction of the entrance. I've seen a lot of these statues. Perhaps, uh, I don't think they work. If you've already discovered the cave, and maybe all the ones I've been to, I've already found the cave by the time I find them, because I don't, I don't remember seeing an interaction prompt with them before. Yeah, there we go. I don't actually remember what was inside of here in the other playthrough, to be honest. Stormfoot Catacombs. A proper death means returning to the Earth Tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Ambush ahead. Okay. Hello! Ah! Oh, what a reach. Trying to test out more of my spells. Yeah, this is such an early level dungeon. It's going to be a cakewalk, I think. Everything's dying in one hit. Poor things. Oh, right. Oh, hello. Okay, I remember this dungeon now. Uh, no, 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 let's wait. Ah! Whew! You can turn these off by whacking them. Bye-bye. Someone left a message up there. Still no treasure chest. <laughs> ah! Oh.
where you've left. Thank you. Oh yeah, if I fall down there, there's a lever I can press. So this way first. Wandering Noble Ashes. The spirits of nobles who after death now wander the lands between. Surely they were in search of something once, but whatever it was has long been forgotten. Just to be careful, let's take the Flask of Wondrous Physic. Yeah, I do so much damage for this boss. It's almost not even fair. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Spirit of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Rhea Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown, however, and he is only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. Reminds me of Tops. Tops came up with a new spell that absolutely proves that they deserve to be there at the Academy. So, yeah, not that much to that one. Super easy. But I still wanted to revisit it. I'll just take a moment to look at everything blowing in the wind. It's so pretty, the way things move. The game wants me to go from here up and to the right. Like at both both of these sites of grace, it wants me to go up here. I feel like this area is higher level stuff. Whereas this is kind of the starting area just to the right of it. And I feel like that's probably lower level stuff. It's pretty close to the starting area, you know? And I know that for a quest, if you can call it that, one of the people at the round table hold, they wanted us to go to the sending gate. And that's not that far over to the east either, so yeah, let's reveal this map tile. Looks like it's right there. And let's start from here, I suppose. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening here. I saw a cart being pulled by a giant. I think it's moved while I was staring at the map, but yeah, I definitely have not explored this. Just hope none of these are magical bears. There's the cart. Ooh. Ruins. Right there. Oh my god, that's so many nobles. Let's do carrying greatsword. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> that 
That is so satisfying. Come on. Yeah! Oh, that is fun. That is definitely not as efficient as just doing Great Glenstone Shard. But it's really fun. Be free, giants. And you look like that boss I fought before that was only here at night, except you have an axe. Ooh. Let me make sure I loot this before I die. Great axe. Thirty strength. Wait, what buff do I have going on right now? Is that the picture of a chicken foot? How did I get that? I don't think I used one of the chicken feet. Like, it looks like one of these. Huh. Hello. Ah! Okay, I know their moves. Well, I knew I knew the moves of the other one. This one might have a different move set. So I could fight them in melee. Ah! What would be good here? Maybe magic glint blade. Ash of War, Repeating Thrust. Hmm. What's that usable on? They didn't drop their weapon. Surprising. Let's do something fun with you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, some of these should say Try Night. So it probably only appears at night? Yeah, Try Night. Upvote all those ones. Be wary of pack, try night. Have I been down there? Oh yeah, I have. I feel like there must be a Sight of Grace nearby. Ooh, there's a ball. Oh, I love that spell. Ash of War Determination. <laughs> They're going out to investigate. They'll never expect the meteor. They'll never expect 
Oh, fuck, I'm out of FP. Ah, whatever. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I thought that was much more focused with its attacks. Smithing stone level one. I think that tells you a lot about what level I'm supposed to be when I'm here. Okay, so over there I've already been. Yeah, nothing about that is new. So let's go back this way. What is that up there? Is that someone on a cross? There's a stake of Marika here. Hmm. Boo. What the? Huh? Are they making that sound, or what? I'm just trying to get off the horse. Whoa. There we go. Are you alive, then? I can't talk with him. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Gotta, like, put them out of their misery or something. I'm just gonna leave. Wait, what's this message say? Maybe there's something I can do. Time for suffering. Yeah. <laughs> no good fortune ahead, but faith. Have <laughs> faith. You'll get down one day. Sorry, I couldn't help you. Game won't let me. That just comes off as goofy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just... That feels unintended. Immunizing cured meat. That's a new one. Temporarily boosts immunity. Hmm. Yeah, what do I have? Immunity, yeah, fire damage, magic damage, and one that does immunity, robustness, and focus. It's like a super one. I bet there's a cellar or something more in these ruins. And there's even a summoning pool. Behold poison. Already experienced that. Try fire. Ah, cellar. Praise the mushroom.
fog wall. There's a boss down here, isn't there? Didn't expect coffin. Behold monster. Mad pumpkin head. <laughs> Definitely a low level enemy because these hits do not hurt that much. Oh wait, uh, I'm building up bleed. Let's stop doing that. Yes. Oh. Waypoint Ruins Cellar. Sorcery ahead. Teacher ahead. All the more grass? Hello! Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, her sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? I want to learn sorcery. Ah, a yen for glimstone sorceries. Well... Your aptitude does appear passable, but one must choose one's master. I pass. That's all I aspire to in life. From the Academy of Rea Lucaria. I'm just kidding. I don't care if I pass. Apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? I still want to learn. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery, but I refuse to coddle. Or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Ooh, I'm gonna buy all of these. Wait a minute, I think I might know some of these. Glenstone Stars. Either I already know that or something very similar to it. But these are all so cheap, I might as well just buy them all. Well, I guess not Glenstone Pebble. Nah, I'm gonna buy it anyway. Whatever. I'll have two of it. So then I can cast it from multiple slots <laughs> there, there would be literally no point in that stars yeah arc that's one of the ones you start with gonna buy it anyway crystal barrage that's definitely new scholars armament that's new scholar shield that's also new I'll take a look at those in a second about glintstone sorcery our art draws upon the powers embedded in glintstone but what is the nature of such power glintstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that glinstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein, a fact lost on most sorcerers these days. I certainly didn't know that. The study of stars. Interesting. Your appetite for learning is impressive. All right. When it comes to the new spells, we got Glintstone Stars, which looks like it's just an inferior version of Star Shower. So if you look at it, fires three shooting stars that pursue foes, fires six shooting stars that pursue foes. So same description, just half the projectiles. Uh, takes half the intelligence to be able to use it. 12 versus 24. 
So there's really no point in testing that one because we've already tested Star Shower. Yeah, Crystal Barrage. That's another new one. That one is unique, it seems like. It looks kind of like Crystal Burst, but it's obviously more focused in the picture. And it actually takes 23 int, which is decently high. And takes 14 FP compared to... Well, this one also takes 14. So that's interesting. I want to test it. We also have Scholar's Shield enhances left hand shield damage negation. It's quite a um, low requirement for that spell. Takes 30 FP though. Yeah, this one could be quite good. I mean, we have 100% physical damage negation, so I think that's pointless. But if we need to protect against magic, that could be really good. I think that's worth keeping. I think those are the only ones I want to try. Let's see what Crystal Barrage looks like. Oh, you can just keep going. Not unlimitedly, but up to like about half my FP bar. And I just tried the shield spell and it buffed my shield for somewhere between 40 and 50 seconds, which is a pretty long buff. Definitely useful. Oh god, right, these are all back. No! Oh, hey! Oh, sapling, sweet sapling of glorious gold. Has your crystal teardrop ripened? That's a bit of a drop. So the map is over there. Is there a spirit spring to jump into perhaps? Not one that I immediately see, so let's go this way. I always wonder what they're digging for. Oh, hey, let's see how much damage Crystal Barrage does. Ah, I need someone with more health. These are too weak. Oh, it's very short ranged. sound a bit pompous, but I'll save you. It's very bad at tracking enemies. Yeah, it's really only good for like really, really close up. interesting, though. It's like a machine gun of magic. Servant to the true order and celebrated
ancient repudiator of the false. Where, where are you? Grant me succor. Behold up? Are they above me? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the pot. Oh, Grant me succor. It's a fun spell. I don't know if it's the most effective. I do like the fact that you can hold it down and just shoot a bunch and switch targets. Hello? It is pretty good against groups, I guess, in that way. Not necessarily efficient. Like, probably carrying greatsword would be much better in terms of efficiency. But it's fun. It is fun to have a machine gun. Okay, I need to rescue them before they start talking again, because it's getting obnoxious. Oh my god, please. Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in yes, I'm here. I'm here. Height. I'm here, hello. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's very kind, but, um... No. No, the, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished... Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth. Heard of you about ten times, yes. Line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Young tarnished, I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. How exactly did you need rescuing? You were up here, away from the creatures down below? Couldn't you have just walked off into the forest? Walked off up there? What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? Don't kiss me. My fort lies to the south, beyond... Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward. Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Oh, yes, now allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. That depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Oh, he's dead. Don't worry about it. Jumped up country bumpkin. Lord, oh, don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, only to lick her boots rather than die like a man. <laughs> Has he no shame? The big girl's blouse. And to think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. Though you almost wouldn't know it to look at him. Yeah, I almost feel sorry for the chap the more I think of it. I wish I could tell them that I already killed Godric. <laughs> I want to see the reaction. What are you waiting for? My fort lies to the south. Okay, to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Wait. When they say to the south, do they mean, like, immediately south? Because there's not that much here. I... Like, is this the Mistwood? Is it this small? Just this little forest here? Or are they talking about, when they say south, do they mean, like, over here? <laughs> Which is much more southeast. Or even just east. I don't know. NPCs in Dark Souls be like, oh yeah, it's just down the road, it's just south, and then it's on the other side of the world. Who knows? I'll find it when I find it. Yeah, let's go get that map fragment right now. Oh, 
Oh no. Get the gold shit. There we go. It's so cute the way they're sharpening their claws. Or whatever it is they actually are doing when they do that. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, like, is this the Mistwood? If that's the Mistwood, then this must be the place they talked about retaking. It doesn't look very big, though, so I kind of doubt that's the Mistwood. Oh, this place looks horrible. I don't like the look of that. I mean, that is the place around the crystal tunnel that I found when I was teleported there from the trap. So we kind of know that that place looks horrible. I love that I can pretty reliably take those out. Oh my god! <laughs> which which blood stain did I touch? I want to see that again. Was that from a bear? Is that them getting picked up and pounded by a bear or something? I'm not sure, but it looks hilarious. Oh, what a way to go. Could this be a friend? Oh, I wish. No enemy ahead. Stay calm. Oh, maybe if you snuck, you could get it? Maybe. Ooh, cookbook. Stimulating boluses might be new. Alleviates buildup of sleep. kick. <laughs> oh my god, it's sleeping. You know, honestly, I'm glad I didn't come here early on. Remember how hard that first bear was? The one that I had to cheese by running away from it? And bringing it to, like, the limit of its... Of how far it could go from its starting position and then just shooting it with a thousand magics? Oof. Ah! Hold on, I want to machine gun you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, no, the efficiency of that, like, all those shots to do 600 damage and took up more than half my FP bar, unless it wasn't full to begin with, I'm not sure. I think it took about half. I could have done that in, like, two great glinstone shards. So that is definitely not an efficient spell. Not even close. It's just so fun, though. Oh, the machine gun. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there's the herb tree to check out. There's that. There's the tree. There's that. What is this? Stars ahead. Dregs? See off for a river well. Oh, that probably brings me to another part of the Einzel River. Or I guess this river's called the Siafra River. Ooh. Wait, I hear tinkling. Ah. Oh, that's just for health potions. I don't need them. I don't want to go down to the Siafra River just yet. Oh, there's two healing balls here. Interesting. Do they think I'll need it? It's a little worrying. Oh my god, they're all over the place. Oh, that one's not a red one. Ash of War, Ground Slam. <laughs> None of the others even noticed I did anything. Ah! That's better. Where's the Erd Tree Avatar? There's been one in it at every Erd Tree. Spiked Cracked Tear. Green Spill Crystal Tear. Hmm. I love how they're just gathering around the tree. They like it, or they find it interesting, or mesmerizing, or something. since we found a site of grace. There's gotta be one nearby. Let's try this spot over here. Beware of beast. Oh, I see it. Mistwood Ruins. Okay, these are the Mistwoods. I thought they would be larger. Let's not go down into the cellar just yet. Ooh. Level 2 smithing stones. <laughs> yeah, this is a relatively low level place. Not to say it's a walk in the park. The beasts are still a bit tough. Okay, cellar time. Axe talisman. Enhances charge attacks. 
The lord who led the long march bore an axe, and his loyal warriors honored him by wielding axes of their own, making them very effective at dealing decisive blows. Hmm. Well, I pretty rarely do charge attacks, to be honest. So I don't think that's for me. go down the road towards the castle. There's got to be a side of grace there. Oh, there's so many beasts in the mist woods. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. A game message? Open for business. Hmm? It's one of the nomadic merchants. There must be a nomadic merchant nearby. Merchant ahead. Be wary of weak foe. Why do you sound so creepy? First off, attacking. Are you gonna try to attack me? Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please. Are you okay? You sell a lot of meat. Where did this meat come from? I mean, where do you get festering bloody fingers if not from people? Corpses. Anyway, let's not think about it. They have some cookbooks. Blue gold kite shield. Ooh, it's got 100% physical. It looks kind of pretty. Let's buy all the shields, why not? They're cheap. Collect everything. Ah, how nice. Why do they say attack though? Like, they're not attacking me. Likely octopus? Huh? Doghead, definitely agreed with that. Let's take a look at that shield. Wait, this thing only has 95% physical damage negation? When did that happen? Is it when I put carry and retaliation on it? Did it reduce that? Because like, I'm almost certain I wouldn't have used it if it wasn't 100. But um, yeah, other than the physical, it's much worse at protecting against magic, but much better at fire, a bit better at lightning, a little bit worse at holy, and a bit better at guard boost. As long as I'm not fighting against magic, try, well, specifically trying to block magic, this would actually be totally fine to use, actually maybe better. So let's see how it looks. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's got a personality. Like, is it at all as ornate as this? Not even close. Not even in the same league. But it's got personality. I still prefer this, though. <laughs> this is just too pretty. Oh no, one's stuck in the rock. Oh, honey.
The demi-humans wax wroth. Now their mother's been taken. The night... Wait, hold on. I skipped one. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The night bedeviled by blood. Race ahead. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, I want to change the Ash of War on my shield to see if it changes the physical damage negation. Because I have a feeling that's what happened. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Did it affect the others? Oh yeah, it affects... It affects everything. Okay, so we have carry and retaliation. Um, compared to that, if we just put a normal parry, we'd get 100% physical, a bit worse magic, a little bit better fire, a little bit better lightning... A little bit worse. Holy. The guard boost stays the same. Okay, so... Basically... Carrying Retaliation gives you a little bit more magic protection and takes a tiny bit away from the physical protection. Fire, Lightning, and Holy is pretty much the same. It's a minute difference. Yeah, none of these actually change the guard boost. And guard boost is really, really important. So honestly, the other shield might be better. But again, I'm sticking with this one just because of looks. Do I not want Top's Barrier? 95 protection is fine. That's that's still really, really good. I'm going to stick with Top's Barrier. Or uh, Carrying Retaliation, I mean. Sorry. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore this little castle? Looks awfully small for that to be where Lord Kenneth is, but I don't know. Let's go see if we can find Lord Kenneth.